can make your way to your seat tonight. Amen. Keep the Lord on your mind. Amen. My, 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 what a wonderful service we're having. Amen. Praise God. Well, hallelujah. It's good to have Brother Brown here and his family. Amen. They must have snuck in on us as we were, amen, gearing up to start the service. We prayed. Amen. The men gather around and Amen. Get it kicked off. Amen. And uh, so, but we are we are glad y'all are here tonight. Amen. And come to help us out, strengthen us. Amen. Be a blessing. And uh, Amen. We're so glad, so glad uh, that you're here tonight, brother. If you want to, you can step here with me. Yeah, come on up here. I'm inviting. Amen. Unless you just want to sit with her. <laughs> amen. We'll let you do either one, but. Praise God. Hallelujah. How many is glad you have the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I uh, we we sat around here a little while after service this morning and visiting with uh, Brother Paul here that's been coming. Can anybody tell me how many services he's come now? I know it's at least five or six. It feels that way anyway. Maybe not quite that many, but it feels like it's been a several. And uh, about the middle of December, first part of December, maybe. And uh, of all the people that we never expected to ever show up in a church, amen, amen. He was one of them. And uh, here it is. He's becoming faithful to, to the house of God. And, and today in the office, uh, we were talking before prayer this morning and uh you know, I could hear, I'm glad y'all start prayer on time. Amen. I'm glad you start prayer. Now, I'll forgive you tonight. <laughs> Amen. But this morning, it was, you know, uh, when I hear the praying begin, amen, I shut down every conversation. Amen. It don't matter if I'm on the phone or if I'm, you know, uh, um, I mean, unless it's something pressing and I can't get away from Amen, and I'm thankful y'all understand that, but I told him, I said, well, it uh, sounds like it's prayer time. He said, yeah, it sounds like that's what they're doing in there, and uh, so we, I, I got up and go to the door, and he said, you know what, I think I probably need to show you this face of mine. I said, well, uh, all right. I'm telling you, right, my, my wife don't even know some of the things that that man has said in the past that will scare you to death. You think, my goodness, is there any hope for this fella? <laughs> and uh, I, I, I witnessed him say things that I, you would think God would just strike him dead. But we don't know the mind of God and we don't know the heart of man. Sometimes men put on this persona that they're real tough and hard. Amen. Well, praise God. And so anyway, after service tonight, today, this morning, we were talking and, and got to talking about uh, the, the act of dancing in the spirit. Now, Brother Brown, it, it, to the to the to the casual observer if somebody just wants to stand around and look at it all it's strange i mean it it's 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 weird can i say it that way it doesn't look normal and so so people have a hard time believing it but when you've experienced the the holy ghost and the glory of God coming down and touching you, you know that it's real. And I said, I told him, I said, you know, uh, there's a difference in, in dancing and shouting in the Lord and being drunk on the Holy Ghost. Now, my grandmother, she got, she, she would shout all, all over the place. And when she got older, she had to hold on to the, to the chair and just do the best she could right there. Man, but, but, uh. Uh, that, that wasn't being drunk on the Holy Ghost. That was just worship God. And uh, anyway, I said, man, uh, Paul, the, when you get drunk on the Holy Ghost, it's amazing. And I began to, 
glorify God to him. I began to build it up, and I began to, I tell him the truth. There ain't nothing you can experience like being drunk on the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about more than just the shout and the dance and the run, but being drunk on the Holy Ghost. You know what it's like. He's been drunk on the Holy Ghost. Some of you, uh, most of us in here have been drunk on the Holy Ghost. If you ain't been drunk on the Holy Ghost, I'd, I'm just challenging you to get close enough to God to get drunk. Amen. And he, you know what he said? Ask my wife. She witnessed it. She, and matter of fact, she put him on the spot. <laughs> he said, you know, I would love to get drunk on the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Was this about the fifth service? Sixth service? I don't know. Several services. 75 years old. And he thought, mm, there ain't no way this guy can go to heaven. <laughs> Whew, but God knows. Somebody might mock and say, well, it's because he's 75 and he's starting to think about things. Well, somebody got to think about it at some point. Only difference between a young man and an old man living for God is somebody convinced a young man to do it sooner. That's it. There ain't a bit of difference. Whether you come to God in the morning hour, in the noon hour, or the evening hour, it's all the same. The reward is the same. Amen. The gift of God is the same. Hallelujah. So you know what? We need to have the power of God moving everything. Every chance we get in this place. Because I'm telling you what, he wants to see it. He wants to feel it. He wants to have it. Amen. He wants to experience it. Amen. But he don't know nothing about it. He don't know how to talk about it. He don't know how to ask about it. Amen. But I'm telling you what, if it'll bubble over from you, come on, it'll spill over the next one, and it'll spill over the next one, and it'll go right on down the line, and pretty soon it'll get over where he's at. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. I mean, you don't have to worry about a bit getting out of place. Hallelujah. And so I'm glad, I'm glad that he's coming to church. I said, well, why don't you invite your wife to come? He said, I do every Sunday. She said, no, I don't want to go. I'd rather sit at home and drink my beer. I said, well, tell her there's something to drink here. Holy Ghost wine. He said, I'm going to tell her that. Will you get drunk on the Holy Ghost? He said, I'd like to get drunk. That's when he said, I'd like to get drunk on the Holy Ghost. Amen. You just never know. You just never know. Amen. God's dealt with people that said, I'll never do that. I'll never sing that. I'll never dress that way. I'll never act that way. I ain't going to go to church like that. I'm not going to change the way I am. God's dealt with them folk before. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. I feel good tonight. This, the house feels good tonight. Amen. The power of God is here. Amen. And uh, Brother Brown, we're dealing with some sickness around here. P- p- folks, are. we got several out. And, uh, and, and we're just going to have to keep praying for them. We've been praying for them. And we're not going to quit praying for them. We ain't going to let doubt creep in. Amen. We preached about it the other night, the other day, other several, probably two or three times. Amen. You know what? I'm so glad, church. I am. Y'all need to look at them stories in a different light. Amen. Them stories about naming dipping in the river seven times. Amen. That 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 servant of the of the prophet going looking for that cloud seven times. Amen. I. You know what? It just. I'm not going to give up praying for folks. God is a healer. And you can't get to the seventh time unless you pass by the second and third and fourth time. We've said it before. We're going to say it again. I love that third time. I love that fourth time. I love that fifth time. Well, glory to God. Woo. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a popsicle? 
Woo! I don't know, but you'll do every one of them. Who was that that preached about the Tootsie Roll? Brother Morgan, man. I tell you what, that was wonderful, wasn't it? <laughs> you might as well just have faith and keep on praying. Keep on believing. Amen. Some of you have witnessed the miraculous power of God. Some of you are going to witness it. Amen. Well, praise God. You know it's real. You know it's real. Just have faith. Just have faith. I may not have much to give you tonight, but such as I have. Well, praise God. Might as well have faith. You might as well get tired of the devil doing what he's done. Kick him out. Give him an eviction notice. Effective immediately. Vacate the premises. You know how to get it to work, Brother Joy. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. Resist it. Woo, Brother James, come here and help me. We gonna, you're going to help me in a little bit. I'll tell you. you know how you resist the devil? Grab a hold of him. Mean, he's not the devil, but my goodness. Woo. When he goes to pull and pull me a little. Don't pull me off now. I, can't. I just resist. I ain't doing that. I'm not going there. No, I ain't going over there. No, that's not what God said do. Hey, in Jesus' name, I'm staying right here. Come on, resent. No, I'm not doing that. That ain't going on here. I'm not going to allow that. I don't put up with that. I'm not bowing to that in the name of Jesus. That's resistance. Resistance is not you saying, oh, God, help me. Oh, Lord, I don't want to fall. Oh, God, I don't want to be defeated. That's not resistance. God already knows you don't want none of that. But resistance is when you start pushing back. When the devil offers it to you, you tell him, ah, it is written. It is written. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Woo! Resistance. Resistance. Hallelujah. Some of y'all need to start a resistance movement. We got any freedom fighters in here? <laughs> no, if a politician got a hold of this, it'd be, uh, we'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? I'm talking about spiritual. Hallelujah. It's 2024. You know what I don't want? I don't want 2024 to be like 2023. You can go down through history and pick the best year you've ever had in God. I don't want it to be like that. Woo, Sister Wendy, I want it to be better than it's ever been. God, I want a burden bigger than I've ever had. I want the power of God working in me more than it's ever had. I want the best 2024 that I could ever have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? Instead of you coming to church with your eyes black, why don't you come to church with some bloody knuckles? That lets me know you're fighting back. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost, what I'm saying. The devil had run over and run over and banged around and beat up. Come on, ridiculed. Oh, Goliath's been mocking for 40 days straight. 
Come on, send me a man. Send me a man. Send me a man. But you know what? There was a young man coming that was submitted to God. Come on. He said, come on, Goliath, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to you in the name of the Lord. I speak the name of Jesus. You know why the Holy Ghost moved like it did tonight? Because God wants you to realize you need to put him in control. How many of you will confess? Well, maybe you don't want to raise your hand tonight, but just in your heart you'll, you'll realize you've had too much control in your life. You've been the boss too long. been doing it your way. If your way don't line up to his way, then your way is wrong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Vengeance is mine, thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, it's a different, it's a, it's a different service tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what you need to sing? Victory is mine. Victory is mine, victory today is mine, I told Satan to get thee behind, victory today is mine. Well, instead it's, here we go again, here we go again. That verse was never written in that song. You know what David said? I once was young. Now I'm old. But what? Never seen the righteous forsaken. You know what that means? Out of the multiplied millions of saints of God, God never let one down. There never was one disease. There never was one affliction. There never was one death. Well, praise God. Come on, there wasn't one problem that God couldn't take care of. Yeah, that's why 2024 is going to be a whole lot better. Well, we're getting hold of it. I can be a man of God. I can be a woman of God. I can be a child of the king. I can make it. I can win. I can be victorious. Great peace have they that love thy law. Ooh, fall in love with it. You'll sleep easy at night. Praise God. I'm going to say this. We're going to get out of the way. Amen. We want this good brother to come. Amen. Minister to us. Whatever he wants to do. You know. I'm just glad you came. And uh, we're, we're so thankful. Amen. We was a little bit on the low side till y'all come in. Woo. Amen. That's just the way it happens when you have sick folks. Amen. And I'm telling you what, the ones that's faithful, the ones that's faithful, been sick. Amen. I hate the devil. You know what? Y'all just get ready, because when he gets done with them, he's going to try it on you. But God's still a healer. Woo. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know what? Sometimes you just need to get fed up. Sick and tired of what's been, do been going on. Hallelujah. And so, you know what? It's, it's a, 
You know, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know much about these New Year's resolutions. I know a lot of people have got some going right now. Some of them have already messed them up. That's all right. Man, just don't give up. Woo. I mean, Brother James, just, just go ahead and start that diet, eat them vegetables, you know. Huh? He said, uh-oh. He's talking, he don't eat vegetables, not one. Maybe a corn. You eat a corn every now and then. Green beans. Amen. Sister Wendy, you, you said you was going to try to give him, or what was it, one vegetable or one something to the menu every month? One meal, one, one new meal. Oh, brother, you got to try some asparagus. Woo, with garlic on it. Mm, my goodness. I told you it's a different service, but you know what? Hey, don't give up, brother. It's good. Just, just I tell you what, if you can't taste of it, just go by and smell of it. It's a start. It's a start. Amen. Woo. Now stay away from the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> General consensus, uh, no Brussels sprouts. They will not go down, I promise you. Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, we got some rebellious folks in the house. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm telling you, God don't want you to give up. He don't want you. Come on, just if you put it in your mind, do it. When the devil starts laughing at you, come on, do it some more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, glory to God. Brother Joey, will you help us take up the offering tonight? And uh, somebody that didn't testify this morning want to testify tonight? Amen. This is still Sunday. I mean, we always testify on Sunday. Amen. I might break it up and do it on Wednesday. Amen. It's a new year, a new day. <laughs> Amen. Get rid of the monotony. Change it up a little bit. Amen. Woo. Anybody? All right. Man. Praise God. Let me clear this desk. Amen. Brother Brown, we're so glad you're here. We want you to come. Amen. Y'all do whatever you want. Sing, preach. Just take your time. You got plenty of time. I mean, oh, yeah, plenty of time. I hold them a long time anyway. They're used to it. Just preach. Amen. Let God have his way. I mean, whatever, whatever God's got. Amen. I think I got all the devils cast out. You know, might need a healing or two, but whatever God wants to do. If you want to spend an hour, spend it. If you just want to take five minutes, whatever, just obey God. All we want is for God to have his way in this house. Will you help him tonight? I mean, don't sit on him. Amen. Help him with your voice. Help him with your hands. Help him with your feet. Help him with your heart. To put your soul into it. God bless you, Brother Brown. Come on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Glory to God. Well, it would have been just fine with me if he just kept on preaching. I was eating that up. Amen. That's good stuff right there. Amen. Way a lot better than Brussels sprouts. Praise God. Hallelujah. He wasn't kidding when he said Brussels sprouts don't go down. My son figured that out real quick. Literally, they don't go down. And if they go down, they soon come up. So we don't do that no more. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, it's just it just feels good in the house of the Lord here today. Glory to God. I want to be a good friend. Amen. So I came to be a friend. The Bible said a man that hath friends, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Didn't say a man that wants friends, although that is important. It said a man that has friends. Amen. And this church and this pastor and his family, I count them as dear friends of ours. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I always enjoy coming and being a part of this church. And y'all have been on my mind and my heart. Amen. For the last several weeks. And uh, so we set aside some time. And 
and uh, got with my pastor at the end of service here tonight and or this afternoon back home and uh, you know what I think I'll just go on down there he said that's fine with me you just go right on ahead praise God hallelujah so we came to be a friend here tonight glory to God hallelujah we came to give the devil a black eye praise God hallelujah hallelujah because you know what brother I am sick and tired of what he's been doing I'm sick and tired of what he's been saying. I'm sick and tired of what he's been pulling. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know what? Glory to God. We can take a back seat to a lot of things, but we better not take a back seat to a devil that wants to come by, hallelujah, and go to jerking on our strings. Glory to God. Getting us all down in the dumps and getting us all feeling bad about living for God. Hallelujah. Bless God. It's about time that somebody got up and took the sword out. And said, but I'm taking care of this thing. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. The Bible still says, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, glory to God. So we came to give the, the, the devil a black eye. Amen, glory to God. I, I came here today to put that devil back on, his, back on his face a little bit. Amen, glory to God. Well, the devil tried his best, but his best ain't good enough. We're going to make it. I say we're going to make it. Hallelujah. That devil's a liar here tonight. And you know when to tell when the devil's lies when his lips are moving. Amen. Say, well, pastor, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, and the devil's been telling me, then why are you listening to him? He ain't never told you the truth yet, and he's not about to start now. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Man, it feels all right around here tonight. Oh, glory to God. You can feel the Holy Ghost when we come walking in here today. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank God for what he's doing. Thank God for what he is doing. He's doing some good things. Praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Man, we keep going down that road for a little while. Praise God. We're going to do what we feel led in the Holy Ghost to do. Glory to God. I tell you what, amen, hallelujah. You know what? Sometimes we, sometimes we get to church and the devil, first thing he does, buddy, is try to get in our brain. And get our minds so stinking tangled up. You know what you need to do when the devil gets a hold? It's about time for you to have a Holy Ghost fit. Not this time. Well, the devil thought he had my mind, but this time he's made a mistake. As I'm fighting back this time, and this yoke is going to break. Amen. It's time to break. It's time to break some bad habits. I said it's time to break some bad habits. Amen. Devil knows what gets us down and down the dumps, buddy. He'll pull that same thing on you over and over and over. Praise God. You can be seated for a moment. Amen. Glory to God. He'll, buddy, he'll use the same tactic. If it got you once, he's going to go back and try it again. You come to church, and if it's your bills that you're worried about, guess what? You gonna, what's going to hit your mind about the time service kicks off? Your bill's going to hit your mind. And if it worked last service, he's going to try it this service. And if it worked a few services ago, he's going to try it again. You know what you need to do? Amen. It's time to push back a little bit. Hey, not, not this time. Hey, man, guess what? Not next time either. Not anymore. Not anymore. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But it is so good to be here. Hey, amen. Praise God. We did come. Hey, amen. Try to hey, amen. Just, just be a friend. Glory to God. Come in here and have church with everybody. I like church. I love church. Amen. I'm not one of those. I never was. Even growing up, whenever I was a when when I was a a, a kid, uh, my parents tell me that my favorite favorite uh, game growing up was playing church because I just loved church. And uh, whenever I was a little bitty, they I didn't before I could talk. I I, I would 
preach. You know, it's called preaching. I couldn't understand a word I was saying, he said, but, buddy, I'd be red in the face and I'd just be getting at it. And it's really funny. My, my uh, nephew is doing the same thing. He can't understand a word he says, but, boy, he gets up there and he just gets at it. And uh, here a few uh, few weeks ago, we was over at mom and dad's, and my sister and uh, her kids were there, and Langston's running around, and he's my buddy, and uh, he's running around over there and gets all in the living room, and we start saying, boy, wonder if he feels it. Come on, Langston. Amen. Come on, preach. He kind of got all shy and embarrassed, and he, he went over there and put his head down like he was praying cutest thing in the world. He put his head down like he's praying, and it wasn't long. That little head of his come up. Well, it's not a little head. He's got a great big head. <laughs> but that big old head of his come up, and he start clapping his hands and reached down and got him a toy, buddy, and he went to town. Right. Praise God. It, amen. amen. But I've always loved church. I, I, I tell you what, amen. To me, the more church, the better. And uh, glory to God, it's a lot of times I get asked to go preach somewhere. If there's uh, friends of ours in the area that have church on different times, usually I'm trying to figure out how to go by that place too. Amen. Because I just love church. I just, I love the people of God. I like being around the people of God. I enjoy feeling the presence of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. And so it is so good to be here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God that we have friends in Calera. Praise God. Hallelujah. And they are some of our dearest friends that we love and appreciate. The Smith family and this church family. Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalm 46 and 1. Amen. Lord put this on my heart this afternoon. It seemed like all service long. It just kept, man, everything just kind of pointed back. Psalm 46 and 1. Y'all hang tight. We're going to blast through this, all right? Psalm 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear though the earth be removed and though the mounds be carried into the midst of the sea? And then he went on down through there. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I want to preach to us, amen, on this little simple thought, right now help. Right now help. Hallelujah. Well, let's lift our hands and let's magnify the Lord for a minute. God, help us today. We love you, Jesus. We magnify your name, God, and we praise your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing here tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your help. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Woo! Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. You can be seated for a moment here today. Amen. Praise God. A very present help in trouble. Now, I, I've heard a lot of preaching, and I believe this. So don't take this wrong, but I believe that a lot of times we get in a battle, and we get in a struggle, and we fought for quite a while. We get discouraged, and then a preaching or a message and preaching will come across and says, hey, hang on. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Amen. Matter of fact, there was a time here uh, back when uh, uh, our pastor was, was uh, uh, going through some things. This is a long, this is back uh, probably uh, 99, something like that. The church in Ada hadn't been there that long, and uh, we had, uh, hadn't been there, and Dad hadn't been pastoring that long. And uh, the, the church started going through, I guess, one of the very first church splits we ever had. And uh, there's a lot of fighting going on against the devil and just a lot of spiritual warfare that was taking place. And we went to the art conference in Tulsa. Amen. Back when they had that, and, and uh, I believe it was Brother Gary Howard got up and preached that first night, help is on the way. 
And the pastor still talks about that message to this day. Amen. Hallelujah. About how it gave him the strength to keep pressing on, to keep preaching it, keep telling it. Amen. Glory to God. And I believe that no matter what situation that we're in, God's going to help us. Amen. I believe that there is, amen, angels and there are uh, uh, spirits that God put that aren't ministering spirits out there. And God sends his word. Praise the Lord. And so I believe that help is coming. Amen. It, that is a future tense, though. It is coming. That kind of implies that it's not here yet, but it's coming. Hallelujah. We've also been through battles, and this good elder just talked about people that have been healed and things. We look back and we see where God helped us in the past. Hallelujah. Amen. There sits my wife. And there's times that I, I get to thinking about God healing her body. And I, I, I get to breaking down even by myself. And I get to crying, thanking God for what he did even to this day. Amen. I'll still never, ever forget. Hallelujah. Standing there over to the side in that little building, holding that bottle of oil and waiting for her to finish reading that, reading those scriptures that God gave her. And when she sat down, amen, and I said, the Holy Ghost said to do this uh, in the name of Jesus. And when my hand hit her head, uh, amen, the whole church stood to their feet while she put her hands up. Uh, and God healed my wife uh, of that mass. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I'll never forget the night. Uh, amen. When my pastor did not have his voice. Uh, amen. And he was walking across the front of the church. Uh, and that evangelist reached out and said in the name of Jesus touch his voice and immediately God brought his voice back I'll never forget those things amen glory but can I tell you amen that was past help hallelujah it was past yes we get encouragement from the help from the past but still it's past help and I can stand here and say hey help is coming in the future amen but what about right now what what about the things we're going through right now? What about the devils we're fighting right now? What about the problems we're going through right now? Do we always have to look behind us to the help back then or sit here and wait for something coming? I'm telling you, that's not what the Bible has to say. The Bible has to say, yes, we got help back then. And yes, we're going to get help for tomorrow. But our God is still an ever-present help. I'm here to tell you, God's got some help for us right now. Hallelujah. Yes, help's on the way. But I'll tell you, he's got help for us right now. Right now, he's got some strength. Right now, he's got some victory. Right now, he's got some answers. Right now, he's got a touch. And yes, right now, he's got healing. Hallelujah for your sick body. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Revelation 1.8, the word of God says, Amen, I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. But he said, I am he which is and was and is to come. Before he ever said, I'm coming. Before he ever said, I'm which was. He said, I'm right now. He's a right now God. He's not just tomorrow's God or yesterday's Savior. He's a right now on time God. Oh, let's worship God right now. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Amen. Glory to God. If I'm surrounded by a bunch of biting dogs, I don't need somebody standing on the other side of the fence saying, hang on, buddy, somebody's going to help you tomorrow. I need somebody to get over that fence and help me out right now. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And when we get in the midst of the battle, and we get in the midst of the fight. Uh, amen. I understand that we're going to hang on because help's coming. Uh, but can I tell you, there's some help that God wants to give us right now. Uh, there's some strength that God wants to give us right now. Uh, say, God, I don't know how much more pressure I can take. God wants to help you right now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You want me to prove my point? Let me prove my point. 
When somebody walks through that door, we don't look at them and say, tomorrow God wants to give you the Holy Ghost. We don't look at them and say, tomorrow, hey, tomorrow, buddy, we look at them and say, you can get the Holy Ghost right now. You can get the Holy Ghost right now. You can get the Holy Ghost right now in the song service. You can get the Holy Ghost right now during the preaching. You can get the Holy Ghost right now during the altar service. Well, can I tell you the same holds true to everything else? You can get your answer right now. You can get your help right now. You can get your direction right now. You can get your healing right now. Woo! Oh, praise God, praise God. Amen, glory to God. Sometimes I think we cheat ourselves out of a blessing because we're always waiting for tomorrow. Guess what? We will never make it to tomorrow. Because when we get to tomorrow, it's no longer tomorrow. It's to right now. And so we're always waiting for some future time. I think God's waiting for somebody to jump up and say, I'm not waiting till tomorrow, God. I want help right now. Amen, glory to God. The Gospels talk about a lame man, amen, that sat by the pool, I believe it was the pool of Siloam, which was the sheep's pool. Amen, sat there for all them years. And every time at, at that certain time, an angel would go down and trouble the waters. Amen, praise God. Trouble the waters, and buddy, he'd want to get in. And, but before he could get in, somebody else would beat him to it. But Jesus showed up. Jesus showed up one day. And he looked at him and he didn't say, Amen, Lord, that God will. Amen, what about all that? He just looked at him straight and said, Wilt thou be made whole? Amen, are you going to be made whole? In other words, what's your problem, man? And you say, well, that sounds very unfair of the Lord, but it really wasn't. He was setting a precedent. Look, I'm the one that troubles the waters. Hey, Lord, help me, Jesus. Uh, we say we've got the Holy Ghost. Uh, then, oh, God, help me, Lord. Uh, then why are we waiting for some mysterious moving later uh, when we've got the Holy Ghost? Uh, I say don't wait till later. Uh, get your hands up. Uh, get, to, get a hold of God. Uh, and that same Holy Ghost that filled you up back when you first got, will reach down and touch you again. Amen. Jesus looked at him, wilt thou be made whole? And the man didn't have any idea who he was talking to. Amen. He had no idea who he was talking to. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He was talking to the one that dispatched the angel. He was talking to the one that had all power in heaven and earth. He was talking to the one that gave that angel the authority to trouble the water. And whoever touched it would be made whole. He, buddy, he didn't have to wait until the next time the water was troubled. And Jesus was trying to get a point across to him and us. Why are you sitting there just waiting for a future move? The move is standing in front of you. It's time to reach out and get a hold of it. And quit waiting till later. Don't you leave tonight. Without getting your help, the help standing in front of you. It's time to get it. Oh, come on, let's praise the Lord. Oh, praise God. Oh, praise God. Yeah, amen. You can be seated if you want to. Amen. Feel the Holy Ghost around here. Oh, praise God. Amen. Glory to God. I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm sick and tired of hearing, hearing about the good old days. Amen. I understand what we say when we're referring to the good old days. Amen. Glory to God. There was a lot of good things that happened in the old days. Amen. Glory to God. But let me tell you something. Sometimes I think that is a very good cop-out, a very easy cop-out. Well, they had it back in the good old days, but it'll never be like that again. Well, praise the Lord. Boy, if we just had the likes of, of um, Elder Verbal Bean again. If we had the likes of some of them other good old elders that used to walk, amen, up and down, amen, the apostolic ranks. If they were still around, boy, we could have like, 
like they're the ones that, that brought revival. I'm not down in their memory in any shape, form, or fashion, buddy. I, I've got every one of Brother Verbal Bean's books. Amen. I've read every one. Amen. I guarantee you I could go home tonight, go into my closet where I keep it up on that shelf and pull down the works of the Holy Ghost or pull down prayer and I can read that book and, buddy, conviction is going to grab me. Amen. Before I get very far. Lord, God, but can I tell you it wasn't a man by the name of Verbal Bean that got this. Well, praise the Lord. It was the Spirit of God that Verbal Bean had on the inside of him that had this. Well, come on now. You see where I'm going? Amen. It wasn't the messenger, but it was the message that they got back in the good old days. And can I tell you that same message is still the same. The messengers may have changed, and those old timers may not be here anymore, but the same message that they preached is still being preached. Let's quit waiting for somebody to come with the good old days in their suitcase, and let's get a hold of that hell right now. We can't go back there, but we've got the message, so let's get a hold of it right now. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. Glory to God. Well, glory to God. Well, praise the Lord. Some of y'all starting to feel that around here. Amen. Come on now. You ain't got to wait for me to just get to, well, I'm to the cl I'm closing part. Uh, buddy, you can get your help right now. Lord, if God, if God spoke to you, you can get your help right now. Oh, praise God. And while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. They got their help right now. They got their help right then. They wasn't waiting for somebody to come and say, I've got the secret to the good old days. Buddy, they had the message from the good old days, but it's present right now. Right now, right now, right now, woo, oh, praise God, well, praise God, praise God, I'm going to wait to the next fellowship meeting, I'm going to wait to the next camp meeting, hey, why don't you get it right now, because the same God that moves at camp meeting is the same God that moves at Calero on a Sunday afternoon and night, Get your help right now. Oh, come on. Let's entertain the presence of the Lord. He's here right now. He's here right now. He's here right now. Right now. hear stories about the good old days. Amen. But can I tell you? Amen. I, 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 I meant what I said. I, I'm sick of hearing. Amen. About the good old days in the sense of, amen, that's just how good it was back then and we'll never see that again. I'm sick of hearing that. I think that's a lie that, that, that every devil of hell has been trying to push. Amen. That all we can do is look in our rearview mirror at the help that God gave the church back then. Amen, glory to God. And when the Lord comes back, he's going to give us our help then. But right now, we're just kind of stuck. I'm telling you what, that's a, that's a lie straight from the pits of hell. God's got enough anointing right now to help us with anything that we need help with. Amen, I understand that there's a lot of teaching about the dark ages and things like that. But can I tell you, there is no such thing as dark ages when it comes to the word of God. Well, praise the Lord. When it comes to the word of God, it doesn't matter what age you're in. It's still yea and amen. It's still the truth no matter what year you're born in. I don't care if you was born in 1913 or 19, 
uh, 15 or if you was born in 1776 or if you're born in 2005 or if you was born just a few days ago, it's still the same message. And the message still works. I said it still works. God's still filling people with the Holy Ghost. Amen. I understand uh, that in the last days perilous times shall come. I understand that in the last days men shall be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. I understand that in the last days they're going to become scoffers walking after their own lusts. I understand all that. But can I tell you, that's not the only scripture about the last days. In the book of Acts chapter number 2, when the Holy Ghost fell on all them on the day of Pentecost... The Bible said they were gathered together and they were confounded because they heard everyone speak in their own native language. And they laughed and mocked and said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said, Ye men in Jerusalem and Judea and the outermost parts of Samaria, hearken to my words. Hey, you know the story. These are not drunk as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that... This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel in the last days. There's another scripture about the last days. In the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. You know what that tells me? In the midst of the mockers, in the midst of those that love pleasure more than lovers of God, in the midst of perilous times, he's still going to have an outpouring that he wants to do. God still has help in these last days. Oh, praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, let's lift our hands and love him some more. We ain't going to be much longer. Amen. Praise God. Forty-six and verse five. Well, let's go up. We we already did one through three. Let's do verse four. There is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her; she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. Woo! Before too much time passes, before it gets too rough on you, before it gets too bad out there, amen, he's going to help us right early. Well, here we go again. No, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, glory to God. I, I, look un, I should look under these hills which come with my help. Look under the hills which come with my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Oh, glory to God. Well, we got it, man. But the Bible said he will send help from his sanctuary. I believe I preached that here a few months ago. There's help in the house. There's help in the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Why are we waiting for some other time when there's help right now? God's sending us help quite early. Say, well, the devil hit me today. Well, it's time to get your help right now. We don't have to sit here and fight this thing for 10, 15, 20 weeks, months, years. Let's get our help right now. Right now. Right now. Amen. 
and glory to God. Can I preach to us about faith for a minute? Here a few years ago, back home, I preached about bold faith. You can be seated if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. You just feel after God. We're, going, we're having this Holy Ghost time here today. Bold faith. Now, in the book of Acts, after the Holy Ghost fell, you read on over the next chapter or two. Peter and John went up to the temple, the hour of prayer. And there's a lame man there asking alms. Now, apparently they did this every day. At least that's the impression. The Bible doesn't say so, but it gives us the impression that they did this on a regular basis. But there he was. Somehow, this time, he got their attention. I don't know. I don't know what happened all them other days, but this day, something different happened. Telling you what, he asked alms. And Peter looked at him and said, hey, look at us. Look on us. And the Bible says he gave heed to them expecting to receive something of them. Lesson number one. Your expectation needs to get up. We say anything can happen in the house of God, but how often do we come expecting anything to happen? Well, praise the Lord. I'm telling you, I, we, go preach to us for a minute. You, I'm, if we would be honest with ourselves, how many times do we come to church with a problem that we need a miracle, but we're not expecting God to do it that night. We're expecting, believing God will do it at some point in the future. Well, praise the Lord. Pastor announces revival, buddy. We come expecting. What about all the other services between now and revival? What about right now? It's the same God. It's the same message. It's the same Holy Ghost. And it's the same anointing and power. I tell you why a lot of times we don't let our expecta expectation get up is because we want to just come go through the motions and go back home, eat our snack, and get back to life. I tell you what, church cannot be a part of your life. Church better be your life. I know this is kind of my candy stick that I get on, but I'm here to tell you what, buddy. Hey, man, we better, we better not ever let church just become a part of our life. It better be our life. It better be everything to you. Well, praise the Lord. Amen, glory to God. And you can always tell those that are expecting somebody to get the Holy Ghost by who stays around the one praying for the Holy Ghost versus those that get up and quit about halfway through. I think we got a little dice here right here. We're going to feel our way through this one just a little bit. I've been here long enough. You know what I say. We're just going to set that plow a little deeper and plow just a bit. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Come on, amen, glory to God. Well, we got, we, amen, it's easy to say we're expecting to have revival at some point in the future. That's easy. What about having revival right now? Right now. Right now. I'm not asking for a show of hands, but I bet you I can tell you not everybody sitting under the sound of my voice got the Holy Ghost tonight, more than likely. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Hey, you know what that is? That's revival. Because until they get born again, they still ain't part of the church. Not being mean, I'm just telling you, tell my kids got the Holy Ghost, they weren't part of the church. Feel like I'm getting off in left field now. But we're going to just keep on going just for a minute because I'm getting somewhere. Well, come on now. Amen. But did you come tonight saying I'm expecting one of these young folks to get the Holy Ghost here tonight? Or did we come saying, well, I expect it to be the same as always. 
And at some point in the future, whoo, what's our expectation? He looked on them, you can be seated. Amen. Looked on them, expected to receive something of them. Not that kind of faith, but he was expecting. He got something more than what he was expecting. Let me tell you something. You come to God expecting something, guess what? God's always going to exceed expectations. God's going to exceed your expectations. Woo! You know what? Amen. I, I'm trying to hurry. Amen. Glory to God. But you get the feeling at home. Amen. And I feel like I'm among friends. But, uh, but when, uh, when God healed my wife, I, I tell that story everywhere. I really do. I tell that story. Oh, I've told it to people at, at work, but I tell them all over. Amen. I went to preach uh, down uh, Texas in the church there. Went to preach, and we got done. I thought, you know what? There's, you know, like I said, there's some friends of ours about, oh, it's about an hour from there. Uh, it wouldn't be kind of lateral, just straight out. So coming home from their place, about the same as coming home from where we were. So I said, hey, I think we'll just zip on over there and walk in kind of like we did tonight. Just walk in. And uh, so I got over there, and the pastor come by. He's like, hey, you want to preach tonight? Uh, and I was ready, but I said, tell you what, brother, I said, I've already preached once today. And uh, what did he do? He goes, well, so did I. But I tell you what, I'll just have you come up here and testify. And we'll just do kind of like you just do whatever we feel. I said, all right, sounds good. So got up, and the Holy Ghost put on my heart to get up and tell her story again. So I did. And, buddy, the Holy Ghost falls in the place. And I tell the story. I had her stand and read the same scripture she read the night, the day she got the Holy, uh, got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got uh, healing. Yeah, got a healing. Uh, you know, Holy Ghost healing, you know, it, it, she got healed. She got Holy Ghost all over again. So it all kind of went all the same. Praise Amen. Lord. Praise the Lord. And uh, so we told the story, and uh, Holy Ghost starts moving. And I just, I just said the phrase, just, it, was, it was just God. I just said, if God did it once, he'll do it again. And the pastor reached over, come running over this way, and he grabbed the oil off, off the platform, off the pulpit, and he took off back in the back corner back there and laid hands on a young lady, and the whole place started, boom, blowing apart. People was coming down in the front, and the, that pastor was going by and praying for them and, and, and things. And what I didn't know, if there was a young lady sitting in that service that night that was going through almost the exact same thing my wife had been going through those years ago I didn't know that I didn't know that we saw them three weeks later that young lady was so ecstatic that night she said I got to go home and tell my mom she'll never believe what happened tonight three weeks later we saw him guess what happened that pastor came up he said brother brown I just wanted to let you know that young lady got her healing that night See, what are you getting at, Brother Brown? It's what I'm getting at. I expected God to heal my wife. We had a promise he's going to do it. I, ex I was expecting it, and he exceeded my expectations. He exceeded expectations. God will always exceed your expectations. It pays to come to church with your expectation as high as you get. Because guess what? Now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we ask or think. All we can ask or think. He always exceeds expectations. Amen. Now we've made the circle. Let's come back. And so you know the story. And he looked on him and Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. That's pretty bold. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Now he was on his way to prayer meeting. That's how bold faith works. He was on his way to prayer meeting. He did not say, come on in the prayer meeting with us, brother. <laughs> well, come on now. Come on in the prayer meeting with us, brother. <laughs> Woo! Amen. 
he didn't look at him and say, we're going to put you on the prayer list and we're going to pray about you every week. He didn't say, you know what, let me go pray until I get a vision from God. He didn't even say the Holy Ghost told me to tell you. But he said, such as I have, give I thee. Hallelujah. That's some bold faith right there. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Hallelujah, and there was another man that came to prayer meeting that night. But he didn't show up with his cane or his walker in his wheelchair, brother. They started prayer meeting outside the door. That's how bold faith works. They brought the miracle. They brought it to church. They didn't come to church again. They brought it. Oh, let's lift our hands and love the Lord. So I am wrapping it up right here. Hey, Amen. But what are you getting at, preacher? This is what I'm getting at. Hey, amen. Sometimes we're too timid in our faith. Hey, amen. Sometimes we're too laid back. I can't go down to the front. What if nothing happens? Uh, what if I go down there and nothing takes place? Uh, hey, amen. I can't go over there and put my arm around them. What if I look like an idiot? Uh, I'm telling you, it's time to put that aside. Uh, the same Holy Ghost that the Apostle Peter had uh, is here tonight. Uh, and the same help that God gave that lame man, uh, God wants to give us tonight. Uh, he's our present help. Uh, he's our right now help. Uh, but God I want somebody to get a hold of some bold faith and say, I'm not waiting till later. I'm not waiting till next month. I'm not waiting till next revival. I'm getting what I need from God tonight. Oh, hell, come on, let's worship God right now. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Amen. I would, God, somebody would let get a hold of some bold faith here tonight and say, I know I've been praying about it. I know I've been reaching for it, but I want it tonight. I want it right now. I'm not waiting till later. I'm getting a hold of my help right now. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, amen. That centurion understood right now, faith. Whenever he went to the Lord and he said, I need my servant to be healed. And Jesus said, I will come in his future. I'm going to come. I will come and heal him. And that centurion said, Lord, all you've got to do is just say the word. Just do it now. Just do it now. Just do it now. And Jesus said, I've never seen so great faith. So let's just do it right now. Come on, I feel some faith rising up in this place. I feel some faith rising up in this place. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Come on, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
in the name of Jesus. Right now, break that fever right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Let that healing virtue flow. God, I praise you. God, I praise you. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. We praise you. We praise you. God, we magnify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, I praise you. God, I praise you. Hey, her daughter's got a fever. We're going to stand in for her. God, I love you, Jesus. Right now, God, we're asking you, Lord, to touch Sister Anna right now. God, she's dealt with this fever long enough, God. God, she's dealt with this sickness long enough. We curse this thing in the name of Jesus. By the power of God, in the name of the Lord of hosts, right now, faith, right now, faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. In the name of the Lord. Woo! In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, I praise you. God, I praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we praise you right now. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. God, I praise you. God, I praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, God, I praise you, Lord. I magnify you. I magnify you. I praise your holy name. I magnify you, God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise you, God. I praise you, God. Hey, it's going to be different in 2024. It's going to be different. Hallelujah. Come on, if you want the power of God, you can have it. If you want the Holy Ghost, you can have it. If you want liberty, you can have it. If you want victory, you can have it. It's right here. It's right now. Hey, let's pray for Sister Nelda right now. God, help her. God, help her family. God, give her the Holy Ghost. God, work in her life. Strengthen her right now. I praise you, God. I praise you, God. Hey, God, give her the Holy Ghost, God. God, talk to her, God. Deal with her, God. God, visit with her right now. Let her feel the power of God. Hey, yield to God. Yield to the Holy Ghost. I praise you, God. I praise you, God. Hey, come on, the Holy Ghost is real, and the Holy Ghost is here. The power of God is in this place. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. I praise you, Lord. I praise you. I need you, God. I need you, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy. You're worthy, God. You're worthy. In the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let the tears flow. Let the tears flow. Yeah, let the tears flow. Hey, yeah, God. A broken and contrite spirit. Uh, hey, uh, thou will not despise. Uh, God, I praise you, Lord. Uh, I praise you, God. I praise you. I praise you, God. I praise you, God. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. 
in the name of the Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Satan, you're a liar. Satan, you're a liar. Satan, you're a liar. The truth is not in you. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Glory to God. Glory to God. I praise you. I praise you. I love you, God. I praise you, God. What a wonderful God. What a wonderful God. Come on, give it into God. Give in to the Lord. Let him touch you. Let him speak to you. Oh, here am I, God. Here am I. Have your way in me. Have your way. Have your way. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. I praise you, God. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I praise you. I praise you, God. I praise you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, the Holy Ghost has been in this service tonight. Amen. The will of God has been done. Amen. You have had the word of God spoken to you. Amen. Another, just a confirmation of what God has already been doing in January. Amen. Thank you, Brother Brown, for obeying the Lord today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. If you, if you notice some of us looking at one another and grinning and agreeing, it's because it's a confirmation, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. He has said some of the exact th same things that I have recently said, amen. Woo, Holy Ghost, praise God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I praise you, God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, my work shall you do. Amen. And greater than these works shall you do. Because I go unto the Father. Amen. Did he not? Amen. Hallelujah. What I've done, you're going to do. But not just what I've done. You're going to do more than what I've done. Amen. I, I'm not trying to add to his message tonight, but I, I'm just, my mind is going and, and all, my wheels is turning tonight. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 said, the thing that hath been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. Amen. There is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said? See, this is new. It hath been already of old time which was before us. Amen. Do you understand tonight why Jesus looked at them and was able to say, Before Abraham was, I am. Hallelujah. Come on. He's still a miracle worker. He's still a miracle worker. He's still a powerful God. He's still a deliverer. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brother Brown. Hallelujah. Right now helps. Right now. Now faith. Now faith. Amen. Mighty God, mighty God. What a wonderful service. What a powerful move of God. Amen. And if I don't know if Sister Anna is still on the line, but we are we're going to continue to pray for her and Sister uh, Sister Jimmy and Brother Dole. Amen. I told them the other day, yes, Saturday. I said, Brother Dole, I know you're 88 years old or 87 or however old he is. I said, but there's no reason why you have to suffer. Amen. If God wanted to take you, he could just make you go to sleep. Amen. You're a servant of the Most High God, and I don't see any reason why you have to go through this pain or this sickness. Amen. Up and down, back and forth. And man has already tried to cure, and they can't. But God can. And I instructed them, have faith. We're believing. Church, I want you to believe with me. I'm telling you what, it's not hard for God to raise him up out of that wheelchair where he can walk around these aisles on his own power or the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Will you help me to see that miracle this year? Oh, glory to God. There's no reason why it can't happen. Right. Amen. I want them to talk about it. Leave in here. Look what the Lord's done. Hey, what God's doing in our town, he's doing in Calera. Right. And when we go from Calera, we go to Texas, he's doing it in Texas. Right. And Mississippi. Right. And wherever you go, brother, God's doing it. Well, look what the Lord has done. Yeah, look what he's doing. Amen. Peter had to have a further conversation about that man. Don't ask, ask him. Talk to him about it. It was a faith. Amen. It was the power of God. The same Jesus whom you uh, crucified. Amen. Well, glory to God. Would you just believe what Jesus tell the man? Don't fear. Just 
believe. Now, I don't know that I've heard this testimony, so maybe we'll have time. To, I, may, I may have heard some of it. Amen. I sure want to know the scriptures that you read. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we, can we have those scriptures? Amen. Yeah, I wanted to read. Is it all right? It ain't but 807. 8.07. I'm sorry. Amen. She's got them bookmarked. Amen. Praise God. What's the reference? Amen. There it was. Matthew 9. All right. Right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 You know, listen, I know that this, this phrase I'm about to tell you has it's been get, it's kind of got a bad name. It's got a bad reputation but it's still the principle is there and that I, I'm not trying to be one of those name it and claim it preachers but well hallelujah I understand what they've done with that blab it and grab it name it and claim it you know what we have faith they have emotionalism they don't even have the Holy Ghost. They don't even know what it is to name it and claim it. They don't even understand what they're talking about. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold fast. Well, <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness. You know what the Lord gave me to preach tonight? First, uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 13. Hold fast that form of sound words which thou hast heard from me, heard of me, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. <laughs> Amen. You better get a hold of this or you're going to miss your miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Brown, y'all just be listening. Keep your ear open to hear some things happening around here. We'll, we'll do the same. I said we'll do the same. Hallelujah. We have determined... Come on, to get with God and get with his will and do what God wants to do around here. Brother Brown, I'm not jumping on somebody else's bandwagon. 
I'm not trying to mimic some other church or emulate some other preacher. But what we're going to do is get our face in the carpet and get a hold of God and do what God wants. Hallelujah. God gave them apostles boldness. And the devil wants you to be intimidated. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, glory to God. Hallelujah. What was that that he said? He might not even remember what all he said, but I'm telling you, he said something about uh, when the man of God announces revival, we have expectation. I think we had a look one another because we talked about Maybe we discussed it at Friday night prayer, prayer meeting. You know what I want to do? I'm going to change up the time tomorrow night. We, we have prayer meeting on Monday night. 7 o'clock. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to have prayer meeting. I'm going to have church. We might as well. We might as well. Glory to God. Do you really want it or not? If you want something different, you got to do something different. Hallelujah. I'm tired of talking. Let's start walking. Let's start doing. You can't get the first. You, you can't get the seventh dip. Done until you get the sixth dip done. Now, God is the author and the finisher, but there got to be something in the middle doing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Glory to God! Amen. 6.30 prayer, 7 o'clock start. Come expecting a miracle. Hallelujah. The only way, the only way there can be anything different happen tonight is if you don't want to wait till tomorrow. And we'll stay here all night if that's how long you want to work for it. Well, praise the Lord. Brother Brown, it ain't but an hour and a half home. Might as well hang around. Now, I don't know what's on the agenda, but when God starts working, you know what he told the prophet? Get up and eat. Get a drink of this cruise. You know how long he went? You know how long he went on that bite to eat and that drink of water? 40 days. Woo, on the strength of that meat. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I refuse to let 2024 be what 2023 was. I refuse it. Come on, yes, yes. we have we've started a chal uh, we've started reading the Bible through in a year. I refuse to miss a day. I refuse. I don't care if I had to get up at one o'clock in the morning because we forgot. I'm going to get it done. You're going to get it done. Don't let the devil have an inch. He'll take a mile. Amen. Yes. Brethren, if there's something in your house that needs cleaned out, clean it out. If there's something in your life that needs fixing, fix it. Don't put up with another moment of it. I'm telling you what, God's got your back. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Well, let me obey God. 
Don't be upset. Come on, the devil's a liar. He don't want this. He wants us to shut down and go home. Because that's what we're used to. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Run the aisle for me, Brother James. Run the aisle for me. That's what I've been wanting to do all night. Hallelujah. 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 Run the aisle for Sister Anna. Yeah, run the aisle for Brother Duel. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If it's in your heart, it'll be in your mind. If it's in your mind, it'll be on your lips. Hallelujah. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Yeah, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yatarabokota Rabahasatai. Yatarabokota Ladabahasarabah. In the name of the Lord. 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 Yatarabokota Rabahaya. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of the Lord of hosts. I command you right now to take your hands off of every saint, every child of God in this house that you've been warring against, that you've been fighting against. I come against you in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up a standard against him. In the name of Jesus, 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 I feel strength, I feel strength coming, I feel a boldness entering in. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't be intimidated. Don't be afraid. You don't have to walk on eggshells. You speak faith and you be bold in the Holy Ghost. And God will take care of the rest. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. 
It's right there. It's right there. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, bless his holy name, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, I praise you. God, I praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Church, I want to thank you for obeying the Lord tonight. Amen. Every single person, I thank you tonight for obeying the Lord. Amen. Don't let up. Don't let up. Amen. Don't, don't get tired. Amen. If you're tired, act like you're not. Amen. Don't let the devil know it. Amen. Amen. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Come on, they shall mount up with wings. Come on, hallelujah. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 2024 must be different. 2024 has got to be different. Focus with me. Get with me, behind me. It's got to be different. I want it to be different for Calera. I want it to be different for Ada. Come on. I want it to be different for your ministry. And I know God's done some great things. But you know what? I want it to be better. I want it to be greater. I want it to work. I want God's glory to shine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, let us have revival. But let it start in me. Amen. 
Praise God. Praise God. I want you to go to sleep thinking about it. I want you to wake up in the morning thinking about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to go home and I want you to talk to the saints that weren't able to be here and tell them how wonderful God's been doing things. And how wonderful God is and how God's going to answer their prayer and lift them up, encourage them, send them a text, give them a call. Amen. The devil's a liar. The truth's not in him. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, we'll see you here tomorrow night. Amen. 630 prayer. Amen. 7 o'clock start. We're just going to do it all over again. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Hannah, if, Sister Hannah, if we have to sing the same exact song, we'll do it. Amen. Brother, Brother Brown, if we have to preach the same exact message, we'll do it. Hallelujah. Mm-mm-mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Shake hands. Be friendly. Amen. Greet one another in Jesus' name. We'll see you tomorrow night.